So this is basically just another reason to stack American Gold Eagles and Krugerrands. It's probably yeah. one of the safest types of gold to buy. Yeah. The worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1986. We're now down 43%. This could be the most serious recession in decades. Protect your retirement with gold and silver IRAs. Learn more at sdbullion.com slash IRA. Here we are back at Portland Precious Metals. Let's go say hi to Mike. Hey, what's up? How's it going? What's up, Silver Dragons? Welcome back. Hey, hey, Mike. It's been a while. Yeah, I know, I know. I think it's been like five months since the last video. Everyone's asking me, where you been? <laughs> well. I don't know. I've been around. I do recognize this little guy. I don't know. I think he recognizes you. What's up, Tank? Oh, you're the guy that gave him treats. Head of security, huh? Oh, yeah. what a cutie. Yeah. Right, <laughs> I think I'm safe. Right, We're good, right? You're good. We're good? You're good. You're good. He's all looking at me like. <laughs> I'm not showing teeth. So. <laughs> Well, uh, look at your case, man. You got so much stuff up here. Yeah, you got a lot, a lot of supply right now. Uh, definitely not like it was last time you were here. There was a bit of a supply crunch, but... Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like right now there's sort of a lot of supply. It's not, you know, super crazy. People are still buying, but not as yeah. much. We got a large menu to choose from on the wholesale level. And there's actually a lot of new stuff, you know, new designs and things that... A lot of the mints are making. I know that people want to see uh, all the cool stuff you guys got. Oh, yeah, check it out. You got such a crazy some, selection uh, here, too. Put some interesting stuff out for you. We got uh, a bunch of Morgans here. In fact, I really want to see that toner right there. Yeah, I that didn't. So I just opened that roll, and that was sitting on top. Wow, look at that. That is oh, fantastic. Yeah. So that was just on the end of the roll, huh? Yeah, just sitting on top. Yeah, so it's sort of like the it's air, the you air, just yeah. toned it over the years. Well, toning is a chemical reaction between the sulfur in the air and the silver, and it makes a layer of silver sulfide on the surface. So one way to tell that this was naturally toned is if I flip it over, because it was on the end of the roll, this, sh this side should not be toned, and it's not. Look at that. Yeah, there's no air hitting it. So that's yeah. basically proof right there, natural toning. Depending how it got toned, like this bar here, I actually just pulled out of a box and it's just been sitting in a box wow it started off looking like this and i mean who knows how long it was in the box a year two years maybe so i'll but bet though on the out. underside there's probably less toning yeah if it was sitting like that on the other see yeah. look at that there you go there's some little edge yeah a little edge, edge toning. actually has some pretty good color yeah i've heard that if there's a lot of humidity and heat it can really speed up the toning process okay depending on where you store your stuff i know i've heard people they got a safe, you know, they live in the south and it's crazy humidity and all their silver will turn black, you know, if they don't control oh, the humid? humidity, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, you probably get some wet clothes all the time, too. <laughs> yeah, you shower, you never dry off. You never dry off. <laughs> I don't know you can deal with that, but... Yeah, you got yeah. some some really cool tone stuff. Yeah. You got some, uh, oh, some, some nice cool toners, gold here, tads too. in here, if you want to check some toners out. Oh, yeah, can we see those? You know, we've been starting to stream on whatnot, and we had that in the background on our first stream. Everyone wanted it? Everybody wanted it. Well, we said, no, we have to wait till there's more more people interested dude look at that that one's really nice i like it. it's like the colors just in the sky oh my gosh look at these coins yeah i mean it's basically art at that point it transcends just the silver yeah wow yeah who wouldn't love to have that in their collection i mean the premium's going to be a little bit crazy on these but if it's for sale yeah that's the real question yeah if you can even get them but worth it i think i mean they're certainly beautiful yeah for the people that really like toners yeah. I've been seeing toners go for crazy money, a lot of money. And I mean, in my opinion, if it's ugly, I call it tarnish. And if it's pretty, I call it toning. <laughs> there a lot you of go. The guys out there are just like, oh, it's toned. It's toned. No, well, that's kind of just black, really. It's not yeah. speckles on it. or I don't really, but, you know, call whatever you want. It's just a definition. So. Yeah. <laughs> so um, last time we were in here, we talked about... There was uh, yeah. fake silver and testing silver, and you have your own YouTube channel. I remember there was a video about a girl trying to sell you some like fake gold bars or something. Oh yeah. What what happened with that? She worded it not like I wanted to sell them, but she wanted to know what they're worth. Mm, okay. We didn't get to the sell part because she said, "Hey, what are these worth?" I said, "Nothing." 
because it took me probably as long as it took her to hand them to me to know that they weren't real because they were like this thick. Super thick, copper, yeah. gold plated. The only th thought in my head was these are only real if it's a hundred gram bar. Mm. So it's that big. Yeah. So I looked, it said one ounce and it's like, no, these aren't worth anything. She said she bought them at uh, Ampex. <laughs> Ampex? Ampex. And they were going to return them. But mm -hmm. Ampex doesn't sell fake stuff. Right. Unless it's some fake knockoff Ampex website. So she started getting a little grabby with the, the bars because I was holding on to them. I was trying to debate whether I should even give them back. Yeah, it's counterfeit. Yeah, it's fake. And she's trying to, she's going to, she might have ripped somebody off because after she left about an hour later, I looked on Craigslist. I saw the same exact bar because I remember the serial number. Oh my gosh. It was uh, like the last few numbers I remembered. And, uh, and they, they run Craigslist for 1700 so, so maybe someone then, bought them and so, got scammed. Yeah, somebody eventually. I mean, I heard she went to some other dealers um, also, but dealers. They can kind of pick them out. Well, and they also have testers. Yeah. You know, if, you're, if your dealer doesn't, can't tell by the eye or whatever. Um, yeah, there's machines. Either way, good. they're the experienced ones. The people on Craigslist, you see a deal, $1,700 for an ounce of gold. Gold was 1900 So why? Why would any, well, they can just come here with a real gold bar right and get 1900 i guess moral of the story is if it's too good to be true it's too good to be that's, true uh you you didn't just make that up in this business that's a well-known saying yeah if it's too good to be true if it sounds too good to be true it most likely is yeah it's a scam some people think that maybe gold's cheaper in japan or something or china well then you should just be doing round trips yeah, exactly. Why aren't people doing if that? You can then? just go there, buy an ounce, and sell it here, and make that much more money besides a premium. Well, that trade will end soon. Yeah, because the big guys will do it, and game over. You know, the, there's no, nothing for free. Yeah, there's no uh, real life infinite money glitches. No. <laughs> so what's the deal with these gold bars? It looks like Inglehard. Oh yeah, those are vintage. Vintage gold, yeah. huh? You know the the silver Inglehard. Bars are very, very collectible. What do we got here? There's some, and actually these are really close in serial number. We got three, five, zero, three, eight, seven, and three, eight, four. So, so did are... someone come in and sell these to you? Oh yeah. A while back, actually last time gold was this high is what I bought. Oh really? <laughs> so these probably have yeah. a premium, I mean. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, these are Canadian. I mean, this is, these are really old. That's early stuff. Yeah, you don't see those every day. I I don't, don't think I've ever seen them before. You don't. Wow, those are super cool, and they're four nines fine too. Yeah. So are these probably from like the eighties or seventies? I had to guess, probably the eighties, but I'm not an expert by any means. Yeah. I just know, you know. Well, yeah, probably early eighties, maybe. Yeah. You know, when gold hit an all time high back then, there was a lot of action in the market. So. Right. I'm sure a lot of people wanted in, and they were just probably cranking stuff out. I'm sure. Well, and based on the serial number, I mean, I don't know if they made that many. If they started at one, That'd but a lot of ounces of gold. Three hundred fifty thousand <laughs> ounces of gold. Yeah, that'd be a lot. I don't know. Maybe they started at a random yeah, number. Maybe thirty-five is just the code or something for gold. Yeah. They made four hundred. Uh, anybody? Uh, leave some comments if you know more. Uh, I actually I emailed the all Engelhard guys when I got these, but I never really got a response. So, you know, even they didn't even know, huh? Yeah, I guess maybe they didn't know. Maybe they it went into their spam folder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they just forgot to care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show off some of these beautiful pieces you guys got. Oh, yeah, we got a few good ones. A lot of graded slab type stuff. And I'm kind of curious because we went over sort of how to test silver and some of the easy ways to figure out if your silver is real. Is there any easy way to test gold pieces? Yeah, for the best, most common coins for sure yeah and I actually have a little thing set up here you got a way to do it I got a way to do it um, for these most common coins the one ounce gold eagle half ounce gold eagle quarter ounce gold eagle and hopefully the tenth it's gonna be hard with the tenth because it's really small try and test all of them yeah and we're gonna do this without scales or you don't need a scale you don't need you any special probably do equipment it with your phone or your laptop and um for bonus we're gonna do a couple silver dollars unless you were a shredding guitar player for a living 
you might this might not work because your hearing won't be good it does rely on your hearing here's the pitches here anybody can check these out these numbers here are frequency yeah so that's and you can replicate it with your phone or computer yeah you can do very easily online get an online tone generator this is just just google online tone generator yeah there's a number of them that'll come up and you type in the, the pitch that you want so for gold eagle 4498 hertz for one ounce gold eagle yeah i want to yeah. hear what it sounds like so that's the pitch okay so, so when you ring the coin it should match that yeah and if it's fake it won't it'll be a different sound yeah it won't okay even be close all right let's do it so yeah so uh lucky for us the guys at sound money metals here uh hooked us up with this pocket pinger so i don't have to balance it you can balance it on your finger of course oh yeah but this thing's more fun you don't have to and, <laughs> and it's harder to drop yeah you're not going to drop your coins so what we're going to do is hit play we're going to hear the pitch there 4498 hertz we're going to match that let's make that disappear yeah basically exactly the same yeah that's crazy it'll waver a little like a guitar string because it's not you know absolutely perfect pitch yeah um, so that's just for the one ounce the other sizes are going to be higher pitched oh check it out yeah they're going to be different the numbers pitch. go up and actually we'll show you the half ounce yeah i think it's the half ounce and the crew grand are pretty close to the same pitch so that one so that's a half ounce gold eagle yeah 49.69 yeah, it is really similar to the Kruger end. Yeah, with your ear, it's almost hard hard to tell the difference. So. And this isn't gonna like ruin your coins, just a little. No, I mean, you know, normally you can do it with like a pen or something. Just uh, balance it. You're only hit striking the edge. Yeah. And these are 22 karat. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the 24 karat gold coins don't really ring that long mm. sustaining ring. That so, also tells you it's likely to be real because that long sustained ring usually is from alloyed gold. Mm, okay. So yeah, so we got the, let's try the quarter ounce out here. Yeah, let's do the quarter ounce. 56, much higher pitch. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's a good so sound. So it should disappear and drown out in that so that's why i mute this is something that really anyone could do i mean it's super yeah. cheap you can hear the sound and then you yeah. can tell right away it's real or it's fake if it's too high or too low it'll be pretty obvious oh yeah all right so we're doing the smallest one now yeah this which might be maybe gonna be the, the highest pitch close. oh yeah i can hear it yeah. it's kind of hard yeah, it doesn't it really ring too long it's really hard with the tenth but but it's I possible. Mean, if you have one real one, every 10th ounce sounds like that when you flip it. Yeah, there you go. So in, in reality, all you need is a real one to compare it to. Mm -hmm. And then this is, you know. It's yeah, a great tool. Every eagle is going to be this pitch. Yeah, every single one. Size. Every year. Every doesn't year. doesn't matter. I mean, if it's maybe dent, dented or, or bent or something that changed the shape, sure. Then yeah. that will change the pitch. Maybe. But, so here, let's try the Kruger Grand here. Let's I mean, the most popular you. gold coins are going to be your gold yeah. eagles and the gold Kruger Grand. Yeah. And this will work for Probably. all of those. Yeah. I mean, they're different pitches, of course, but uh, let's see. 48.66. Oh, yeah. So. Seems definitely easier to do it with the one ounce. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So just another reason to stack one ounce gold. <laughs> yeah, lower premiums too. Yeah, lower premium, easier yeah. to test, easier yeah. to verify. I, I don't need a Sigma for a Kruger and You can just tell. I don't need a caliper. Every Kruger and is that pitch. Okay, yeah, I deal in them every day. So, but this will help you get to know it better. Yeah, and this is yeah. just a simple thing. You can Google online tone generator and- Yeah, there's dozens of them. Yeah. Just pick one. And... You could probably do it on your phone if you're on the go, too. Phone, too, yeah. Definitely. Actually, this Morgan's got some nice toning. Oh. Should I not do it? <laughs> no, let's test it. So the Morgan and the piece should be the same 
sound. Yeah, I mean, when you flip it, check it out. I think we went over this in the last, the last oh, video. Oh yeah, they do sound the same. Yeah, so there is an exception, and I will tell you that in a second. So 4430. Oh yeah, there you go. So you kind of wash this out. So <laughs> let's try the Morgan now. All right. Yeah, it sounds good. What would be a thing that would fake it? Like, when would it not work? I mean, yes, we talked about like a bent coin or something, but is there any other For circumstance? For a silver dollar? Yeah. If it's fake? Yeah. Well, actually, the 1921 piece dollar, because mm -hmm. it's high release, Relief is a slightly different pitch. Mm. So other than not that, that one, far off, but it's not going to be. Identical. And probably the new ones too that are three nines fine silver. Yeah, I don't. I didn't try this with those. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing this with any nice coins. Obviously, don't. This is only going to work with raw coins. If it's slabbed, yeah. you're going to have to test them using other means. Yeah, I mean you can if you have a better coin. I mean I wouldn't do it. I don't recommend. Not advising anybody to do this with a nice coin. But you know, plastic. It's not going to. It's not going to do any damage if you do that to it. Yeah. But, yeah, don't take your your high-grade rare dates and do that for sure. Yeah. Well, that was pretty cool. I mean, I've definitely uh, I've heard of testing with sound before, but uh, just pulling up a tone generator, that's a great way to do it. I know they got apps and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, in, in a pinch, anyone could really do this. Yeah. In fact, I'll put these uh, down below in the description if you want to copy these numbers so you know what pitch goes with each coin and uh you can test it yourself play around with it and i'm sure you could probably figure out the pitch for every coin if you wanted you could yeah um it's not hard to figure out you can get a pitch detector and figure out the coin the, the pitches for your most common coins yeah you can get some variation on rounds uh like sunshine rounds don't sound like silvertown rounds right for some reason they're i don't know different so if someone had like a gold bar that was carded, you know, you have a few of them over here. Super that's, common that's, to buy gold harder. that way. That's harder to test, but yeah. the one that that lady brought in, I mean, it was three dimensional. You see, here, get a good profile of that. See how it's kind of thin, it's barely raised up over the package. Right. This one that she had was like out to here. Super it was, thick. It was, yeah, I mean, I didn't need the Sigma to tell me and she told me she bought it at a legitimate website. So obviously she didn't, they don't sell fake bars. They sell those, I won't even say where they sell them, but online, yeah. you can buy them. So if yeah. you had something in a, in a case or in a card, you're gonna need some type of a, a machine, maybe like the Sigma to test it? Yeah, I mean, that's mo probably the main reason I bought a Sigma is because I can't, I don't wanna have to take it out of the package every time. Yeah, bars, you gotta be more careful. That's kind of why I like coins. I mean, with these two, I'll never get a fake. Yeah. There's no chance, because, well, first of all, if you have one, it's easy to compare. Some coins, uh, maple leaves, don't really ring. They're really thick. Nothing wrong with maple leaves. They're nice coins. But this doesn't work on that. So this is basically just another reason to stack American Gold Eagles and Krugerrands. I mean, they're yeah. so easy to it's test. Safe. It's a safe bet. It's probably yeah. one of the safest types of gold to buy. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Krugerrand's been around the longest, and the Eagle is one of the most popular. Well, um, I will say you know. Gold Eagles are definitely one of my favorite things to stack. Yeah. I would say between the two, I just like the color of the Gold Eagle a little bit more than the Krugerrand. Yeah. Just because the, they add the silver in it. But uh, yeah, both great options. And I think if people out there are trying to figure out, okay, what should I buy? What type of gold? I really don't think you could go wrong with either one of these or even the smaller yeah. sizes if you can't afford a full ounce, but uh, certainly great options. Yeah, I mean, I'd recommend the smaller sizes if, if you could find good deals. Yeah, it's for really sure. It's really high premium if you buy full retail. And what if you have to sell? Yeah. You know, this is a long-term play. Shop for good deals on the smaller stuff because they're, they're out there. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Patient. But yeah, if you pay $300 for one of these, which these 10th ounces, I've seen them for up to 300 at one point. Wow. I mean, you're not going to break even price is pretty high. Yeah, so. gold's got to go to like 3000 For you to break even. Yeah. Well, hey, I really appreciate you uh, showing me 
the tests and show me the shop. I'm sure people uh, will want to come in and check out everything you guys got in stock. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, and also we're going to be, uh, we started streaming on Whatnot. So uh, you can find us, Portland Precious Metals and Coins on Whatnot. And yeah, we're going to be doing all this stuff. We got a lot of this cool stuff just ready, ready for you if you, if you want to check us out. We're going to be uh, this Saturday, next Saturday, for sure every Saturday around 11.30 a.m streaming on there and we're going to schedule shows throughout the week nice well, that's awesome well yeah that'd be fun for people if they want to bid on some stuff especially on the cool stuff you know like those toner uh libertads yeah on our first stream we were getting a lot of pressure just <laughs> they wanted them huh they wanted them really bad you've been uh, holding out it's kind of my personal stash so <laughs> you know Maybe I'll let them go for the right price, but... Yeah, I don't know if I would want to let those go. I don't know. Yeah, those are pretty nice. Well, hey, I appreciate the time, Mike. Likewise, yeah. Thanks for Silver Dragons. Yeah, it was great to see you again. Thanks for coming by. You're welcome anytime, for sure. I appreciate it. All right, take it easy. Likewise, see ya.